Welcome back guys. In this video, we're gonna be creating this really cool shake transition in LumaFusion. Now this one's really useful for things like social media content and travel vlogs. But before we get into that, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Okay, let's jump into the iPad. So here we are in LumaFusion. And the first clip we have is this one of the Thames Embankment. And we want to transition into this clip of the Victoria Embankment Gardens, which is at the back of the Savoy. So we're going to move the playhead in between the two clips and we're going to zoom right in until we can see the frames at the bottom of the timeline there. And then we're going to move 12 frames into the first clip. We're going to slice there and then we're going to double tap, make sure we're in frame and fit. And we're going to start adding keyframes. So we have one keyframe right at the beginning, move along two frames, add another keyframe. And we're going to slide that X axis slider over to the left slightly. Another two frames, slide it over to the right slightly, move across another two frames and then move it extreme to the left. Another two frames, move it extreme to the right. And then another two frames and move it slightly less to the left. And finally, right at the end of the clip, we're going to center it again. Now at the moment it looks like this, which looks messy. So what we're going to do is duplicate it. Now with that clip highlighted, we're going to hit the plus icon and duplicate it. Now we're going to tap on that duplicate clip. We're going to go back to the beginning of the clip and going step by step through those keyframes, we're going to use that X slider again to reposition the top clip to create this symmetrical join where all the black gaps are. So moving across to this keyframe, use the X slider to create another symmetrical join there. And again, and another one there, that looks cool. And again, join those clouds up. Okay, so back into the timeline. What we need to do now is zoom into those clips. And what we're gonna do is carefully go through and anywhere we see black bars appearing on the left and right edge, We're going to go back into frame and fit and just use that X slider to create another symmetrical join. And you'll notice LumaFusion automatically creates a new keyframe for us each time we do that. So moving along really slowly, keep an eye on those left and right sides. There's another one. Back into frame and fit. Use that X slider to create another symmetrical join. Cool. And there's another one, really small. And there's our join. There's another. Okay, looks like we're all done. So the end result looks like this. That's it guys, if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. 
See you next time. <laughs>